breastfeeding. And I didn't check my hair. How's my hair? Oh my gosh. Look at that one. Looks great. Okay, here we go. Welcome What's up, back. guys? Welcome back to the Abby and Molly Frederick YouTube channel. Today, Abby is going to learn how to make a pot roast, which to me is one of the easiest meals, tastiest meals that you can make. I typically like a chuck roast, but I got a side of beef. And so in my um, freezer, I had two of these big pieces of beef sirloin tip roast. Um, you can use really any kind of roast, any of the cuts. There's a chuck, there's a sirloin, there's a eye round, bottom round. We have big eaters in our house, so we have to have lots of meat. We're gonna get some paper towels and we're gonna just dry off. Salt and pepper on both sides. So you wanna take the pepper, give it a couple of sprinkles, salt, and you wanna kinda like pat it in. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Abby, you can wash your hands too. Wash your hands, you touch the meat. Put them down. This is gonna pop like crazy. Ready? We're gonna give it like three minutes on each side. I like the way it looks. So we're gonna put them in the crock pot. We're gonna put some beef broth in there. I'm gonna roast the vegetables separately and I'll show you it back here later tonight. It's 10.30 in the morning, but the meat is done. Hey guys, we're back. Um, we, it's been a couple hours. How many hours would you say it's been, Mom? Six. It's been six hours. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna keep going with what we were doing. Like, can you grow a potato off of a potato? Yes, that's what these potatoes are doing. They're called eyes. See it? That's so nasty. Like Please eyes. don't take that off. They look kind of like eyes, and you could put it in water, and it would start to grow a root, and then I think you just put it in the ground. We're eating this? It's gonna be delicious. Boom. I think Bo likes sweet potatoes. Let's see. Yep. Got our vegetables cut up. We're gonna give them a little bit of olive oil, salt. Now we're gonna mix this around. There we go. Ooh, yummy. So now I'm gonna take some of this juice and I'm gonna pour it on veggies. Here is our veggies, they're done. And here is our final pot roast. And let's make a plate. Okay guys, there's the pot roast. Now, the most important thing is that you save the juice and freeze it. And the next time that you make a pot roast, pull that out of the freezer and that is instead of your broth. And then every time it gets better and better. So, save your broth. Enjoy your pot roast. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share it with someone. Let me know if you cooked it. Let me know how you make your pot roast. We'll see you back here next time.